Hi everyone, I'm back today yeah, with an everyday makeup routine. This looks a lot heavier than I, than anything that I've been wearing in my past videos. Sometimes it, you know, I have a lot more makeup on because I want to show you things that are meant to be worn a little bit dark, a little bit smoky, a little bit sexy or whatever. Um, and I want to show them to you because I just hold them. But usually when I do an everyday makeup routine, or if you see my Instagram, or if you like, kind of know me day to day, I've always worn my makeup pretty subtle and non-heavy, not contoured, a little bit bronze, quite natural. And lately, since I broke up with my boyfriend, and I'm single now and alone in the world, I try and smile as I'm going through hell, just so you know. I found that a really nice pick-me-up was just to put quite a bit of makeup on, to be really honest, and I don't know, it just makes me really happy to have that kind of big eye and really contoured face and highlighter and everything. I don't know, it's my, my thing right now, and I've been rocking this, I'm so old, for, I don't know, two or three months now. I've been really going for it uh, since, you know, it's winter... The light is darker, I don't know, I feel, I, I feel it's, I don't know, I feel it, it goes with the whole life scene I'm in right now. So I hope you like it. It's a lot stronger than I used before and you, yeah, than I used before and you will see that even the application, I use quite a bit of products. But this is what I like uh, at the minute. So I hope you like it too. Maybe for you it's a little bit too much, but this could be a really good dinner or going out look. If for this, this is a little bit too intense and you liked better me with a little bit of bronzer on. But hey, um, I hope you like it anyway. I'm really glad I'm back at making videos, so that's it. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. It's foundation, it's the one that changes the most. The rest of my um, foundation routine doesn't really change. But the foundation changes the most because it depends on what I have to do that day, if I have fake tan or not. The ones that are currently in rotation are these two that I mix and it's the Healthy Mix Radiance Reveal in the color 52 and I mixed with a little bit of the Rogel BB Venom Skin Tint in SPF 15 in the color Saint Bars because this by itself is the worst product I ever bought in my entire life. And I didn't say worst foundation or worst BB cream, I said worst product. I've This is ridiculous. It's unbuildable. It really makes you look muddy. The If you rub it in a little bit, it kind of peels. It's ridiculous. It's the worst product ever. But mixed in, and it, the ratio has to be less than 50%, mixed in with something else, it adds a really nice color. The color of this is really nice. It's really natural, really olivey. Uh, if I'm not, like if I don't, um, if I'm like this, my fake tan has already faded. I really like using the Miracle Skin Perfector. I really like Bourgeois Healthy Mix, the serum version. I like the classic version actually too, but the serum version is my favorite because it really helps with texture. If you have pit scarring as I do, the serum one will fill this. It's really, it's kind of magical. So you know what? I'm going to look really fakely tanned. I'm going to show you this because I think that's more interesting. I'll show you the color so you can see what I mean. I put too much of it on. Though. Each and every time I film videos, it's ridiculous. So you see the colors are quite nice. The Radiance Reveal, the Healthy Mix one, is always on the olive side, which is wonderful because it's rare to find um, drugstore foundations, you know, that have a limited amount of shades that cater for olive skin. Okay. So you see it almost comes up green because it's next to my red skin. It's so great. I really like this colour. When I'm done with these two steps, I usually take another break and it really changes everything. Like the wiping of the face beforehand and the wiping of the face after foundation and concealer really makes a world of difference on the longevity of your makeup and on the look of your makeup. It doesn't look cakey. So if you want to go that extra mile and really look super perfected, 
my only tip would be wait before you apply anything powdery on your skin because it's going to change everything. The fact that you wait for your liquid foundation to set and then that you wipe it a, a little bit. Okay, I let my foundation sit there for like, what? I don't know, 10 minutes? More. I don't know. Um, what I do? So chic is this. I kind of pat it. Did you realize that I was British now? Yeah. Don't know what's happening there. I usually use the blob powder color. It's medium number two and I use it very loosely around my face. So now we're ready for color. So crazy thing. Now I contour like crazy. So I use my beloved Kevin O'Quan, if I'm not mistaken, sculpting powder in medium. Everybody says in medium, in medium. Does it exist in other colors? I think I never saw it. I'm going to look on Space and Care because I'd be curious to see. Like for example, if there was a light version of this, a lighter version, why not? I always start uh, above my ear. I know that a lot of people start basically in the middle of their ears or whatever. I start above it and only blend upwards just because my cheekbones are small but high. Polish, listen. So if you think that maybe contouring doesn't work for you, maybe try and play around with um, the placement of your contour. And I realized that if I applied it like I would apply blusher, meaning really small strokes, quite light-handed, it usually works better, so I don't know. And you're all like, duh, but listen. We learn as we go along. A little bit there. And my the, my main insecurity, but I say that really like lightly. It's not insecurity, I don't think about it when people look at me. I have two things. Like, I find that the shape of my face is weird. Like, I feel like I'm a triangle, which is not true. I know, I know. Listen. We all do what we gotta do. This is what I gotta do. Well, I don't gotta, but... And, of course, like, a lot of people in this world, my nose. And I swear to God, if I knew that I was going to be contouring my nose on a daily basis, a few, even months ago, I'd be laughing at you if you told me that. I'm like, no, never. Now I'm kind of like, ugh, sort it. I just sort it. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. I'm a ridiculous person. So, see, I really contour every single day. Don't know what happened there, but it just happened. I go in with bronzer because, yes, I bronze on top of it. The one that I use is like, I always I use the same products. I don't, I'm kind of tired of seeing like a thousand products. If you like something, just stick with it. Take your favorite bronzer NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder in the color Sunny. And I kind of, it's a weird blending, intensifying thing. And I use it, so on top of the contour to blend it and intensify it. But I use it as a blusher too. But I'm going to add blusher on top of it. And on top, same thing, my favorite blusher. Absolutely love this. Uh, begin French brand. Um in the color ember. I really, really adore this blusher. And now we can start to have fun. It's my favorite part. You know me, I love this. So I use, uh, what do I use? Diffuse light first. love this powder and then dim light which is kind of a blusher bronzer highlighter at the same time so if you don't have a skin that's as light as I do just take this one I would say it looks kind of scary and intimidating because it's really beigey <coughs> beigey rosy but it's an all-in-one that looks 
freaking fantastic and it makes your face look looks flawless. Makes your face look cool. Yeah. And something that I bought because of the hype and I was kind of like, oh I bought it and now I don't use it. Now it's my best friend. Is the Mary Luminizer. I use it on a stipple brush by e.l.f. too. I don't use it as a just a highlight there. I use it kind of on top of a my blusher, of my contour. Oh, this is not the best um, moment to put it on, but I really want to show you what I do exactly. But I probably wouldn't have put it on top of my pimples, but hey. I go crazy on my nose. I don't care. Just, I, just do it. Just do it, peeps. When all of that is done, I spritz Cero Zinc. You could totally grab a, any type of water that's you know diffused, but I really like that. Go to town with it. You know, I've been. I rewatched uh, my sweat proof foundation routine I went completely crazy with the this spritzing thing that I had this is exactly what I do but I know I saw myself like talking interrupting myself going there talking interrupting myself not even waiting for anything to set I was like <laughs> uh, I think it's because it was I, I was so hot and but this is a great one and the diff, it's it diffuses in a nicer way it's thinner and the other one, uh, I made an empties videos and I told you about that. It actually dried up my skin and it made, made it hurt around my eyes. I never did anything up to my eyebrows. I have there two scars of chicken pox, so I tend to go quite heavily there just to straighten. Yep. See, it's not much, but it really like just this little, oh, Let's fill this scar up. Really changed my life. And every day I wear eyeshadow. Oh, which I never did before. It's really usually pretty simple. I take a bronzer or blusher or something like this. My favorite palette is this limited edition one, but it's quite classic color, so I don't feel bad showing it to you. It's from the Into the Wild uh, lookbook collection by Laura Mercier and the. Um, the theme is Safari Chic. Well, oh, I didn't choose the name. And for example, I take the, this is the blusher bronzer that they have there. It's called Coral Shimmer. And I love a warm wash of color on my, on my eyelids because it makes my blue eyes pop. I take this old ass um, eye pencil that I've had for so many years. I think I even inherited it from my mother. So I think it probably has a bowler, but I really like the color on my eyes. So, you know, so I go really messy. Don't care. And pretty low just to make sure that I look sick. Yep. Right. Yep. What? Okay. This lightning is have hevelish. So <clears throat> I'm going to take the eye pencil that you if you wear eye pencil, if you like this look, you have to get is the Laura Mercier. I think it's espresso, yeah. Longwear cream eye pencil. This is wonderful because well, it's not the easiest to work with. Let's let's make that clear. Because once you put it on, you have to blend it like right away because it sets. And once it sets, it doesn't budge, it doesn't move. It's really not the easiest to blend. But once you have it on, you have it on. I can tell you that. So a little bit corner of my eye, just a little bit. So this is the Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara by Jordana. I really like it because yes, it's true it's volumizing, but it's lengthening as well. And my eyebrow, uh, my eyelashes are nowhere to be found if I don't have length and volume. So this is quite a tedious process, but 
I'll show it because if you really don't have a lot of eyelashes maybe that would be helpful and what I like doing is kind of making them go in the opposite direction that I want them to to make sure that I coated everything and then make them go the other way around and I make them go outside because it adds kind of feline feline feel to it all that's it and that's it this is how I wear my makeup every day basically with this whole contour highlight thing I really go for it and I don't care and I love it so I hope you enjoyed this video guys I'll see you very soon I have a whole uh, planned for you and I'm quite excited because I've bought some really nice stuff lately so I want to show them to you because I really like these things so there you go I uh, hope everybody is going fabulously and um, I'm glad I'm back and I'm going to end each and every single video that I make with I'm glad I'm back because basically I leave all the time but yeah let's hope it's for good this time and uh, yeah that was fun bye guys <laughs>